Hi, this is Scott Trudeau, Solutions Consultant with Adobe Education. In this tutorial, I wanted to talk about Photoshop CS6's new crop tools. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see the uh, crop tool that Photoshop comes with. But if you click and hold down on it, now Photoshop comes with some additional options as well. Um, if I'm going to go ahead and activate the crop tool here, then you can see that it behaves a little bit differently than in earlier versions of the crop tool. So now the project moves while the crop tool stays in line. And uh, you can see you can rotate the image uh, as well as move and uh, resize the crop tool as well. So when you move the image uh, within the crop box, it's no longer the crop box moving around. It is uh, the image. And then there's various ways to view the cropping tool. You can see the diagonal lines or the golden ratio. I tend to like the uh, rule of thirds there. And then when you're all done and you've decided what you wish to crop uh, from the project, you simply have to click the checkbox or hit your enter key and Photoshop does the cropping. But what I also want to show you, I'm going to go ahead and undo the crop is one of the new features. <clears throat> it's not necessarily new, it's, it's been around quite some time, but a lot of people didn't use it or know about it because it was kind of buried and the steps taken were a little bit uh, complex. So if you click and hold down on the crop tool now, now you're gonna see the perspective crop tool. And I'm gonna activate that. How this works is it, it turns on uh, the perspective crop tool and you just drag out a little box. You don't have to worry about how big it is because we're going to resize this later and what you can do with the perspective crop tool is grab the little corner handles and drag them into place and in this case I'm going to drag them to match the inside border of this framed artwork and you can see I'm just sliding those inside handles to match up with the inside border of the frame and what the perspective crop tool will allow me to do is once I hit the enter key or this checkbox up at the top it's going to straighten out that image and I think that's pretty cool and, and pretty amazing so then you could use the image for some other artwork uh, of course you can uh, add some text or do whatever you wish for it so that is some of the new crop options within CS6 I didn't talk about all of them but I simply hit upon uh, the perspective crop tool and kind of the new cropping behaviors so I hope that was helpful. Again, this is Scott Trudeau with Adobe Education.